So welcome back to Alfredo Monster Scene <laughs> for the two again. I'm surprised that I'm making another one of these. I thought it would be it would take more time before I did another one, but I think I had made a lot of progress. There's still I think there's still a lot of things to uh to fix in my map, but well I think I can do those eventually. I think the general feel is mostly there. So, unfortunately, I don't have the third person cam. Uh, I was messing with the bindings for the nap creation. So, whatever. Uh, am I missing something? I feel like. Uh, I think I can change the difficulty to easy. I mean, just in case. This is just a showcase. I don't have the console button here. Well, damn it. Yeah, worst case scenario, restart. Anyway, so let's begin. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, other than just me playing the game. I don't know if I should do a... Oh god, so loud. A side-by-side -side comparison. But we'll see. Anyways. So, as you can see, I think I have made most of the hospital... Nah, I don't know. I don't even want to want to say, so I guess I just walked you through a little. So, I mean, I have made a bunch of rooms. Well, the first three levels are done. Well, the first three levels are seen the ones in Afraid of Monsters because, you know, it's the hospital, then another hospital, and all that. And then the garage, which is just the parking lot. But, you know, three levels are Afraid of Monsters. I kind of think that it's a little long. But I also think that it's it can it's far. It's alright, the length. Anyway, so well enough for the monster you go through here. Oh look at them. Then you get the key here. I haven't found a key model or something. I think I will have to just look for one. <laughs> but meanwhile we're going to use a brush. Also I have tried to import sounds from a fellow monsters into this one and they play in Hammer, the editor, but not in game. And I think it has to do with uh, the custom game cache for the sounds. Like you need one for custom sounds. Anyway, so I guess let's just do a natural. Well, I don't know. I think we should go straight ahead. I was thinking in natural exploration. But, but you know. Some rooms which used to be closed in a fellow monsters, I decided to give them a, a different purpose. So, for example, this one is closed usually, but I say, hey, how about we make a little conference room? Again, this is like the first or second art pass I'm giving the. Oh, god damn it! The second art pass I, I have been given, the, I have given to this thing. And uh, I know there's still a lot of. Stuff that I need to build, for example, this hallway is a little dark and uh, empty, but you know, with us we go. Also, for example, I just made these indentations because be because before they used to be like this, but I was like, eh, they look kind of ugly. This looks more natural. I mean. You don't notice it if you don't notice when you're walking. You just oh, okay, whatever. Just normal room, normal lights. Then you see this. You say, Ugh. anyways. Now we go into the uh, bottom floor. Well, of this area, we're like in the 15th floor or something. And after the monster, like this is blocked and it's still here. However, I use this for monster spawning and teleporting monsters, if needed to be. Why do I mean teleporting? Because Unfortunately, you can break the wood that supposedly you should not be able to. Still, I have made other triggers so it doesn't open. Oh, that limit. Another room here. <laughs> Just by instinct. Anyways. Another... I think this one opens actually. Anyways, this is the morgue. Kind of bare bones a little. Also, the window is you can break the window as it is now. You can just shoot it. However, I just made like enough for the monsters. 
and going there triggers just a breakable. So you'll be like, oh, okay. Because while I know Alfredo Monster is like the back of my hand, kinda. I presume, well, no one does, in fact, so. So I'm trying to, you know, make it as streamlined as possible, even put stupid, like, spray painted arrows. Oh, God. This here is so dangerous for bots. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get them working to for them to be more safe in these areas. But, but you know, in fact, I used to have it like in the original. There used to not be a guardrail. Oh god! But the bots were just falling over and over and over. Oh, I need to fix that ladder. So yeah, I put a guardrail for <laughs> the bot safety and the player sanity because the bots will just drop down, hang on, one will come and rescue and the one who rescue will you fall off, the one got, that got rescued will rescue them and it will be an infinite loop. Anyways, so well, you can see this is different from the original, it used to be just locked door, ladder, but I think, well, if this was a hospital, how would they treat the rooftop? Usually they just have a helipad to bring in patients, so that's what I made. I look for references, and I guess this is what I have so far. It's not as complex as an original one, as the original helipad for elevators, but you know. <laughs> also... This roof used to be completely open originally. I think in the one that showed it was already closed. But in the in the original it was like all the roof was accessible. But it's like uh that's gonna cause more trouble than it's worth. So I just raised this part of the roof. So it could be like this little whatever place. And it looks nice and it works to block the players. Anyways, in the original you're just supposed to drop down, but I made a door over there just for simplicity's sake. Also, well, I put the arrow and I flashing flashlight, so you can be oh, what is that? Oh, it's an arrow there, it's crazy. But also one here just in case. And I will take a minute to just to just say how making the map is one part, but making like the nap mesh for the zombies and the survivors and everything is just like. The biggest part of making a map. Well, this looks more detailed. There's Walt Disney there because we need to have him. That door is closed. This one opens. Uh, in the original, this door is like broken and you cannot open it, so you go through here. But I don't know if I should leave it like that or just leave it open because the purpose in the original was for you to go through this other library place that I just made. So you can see, oh, there's this thing. You need, to, you need to turn off the power. Let me give you the prompt to switch off the power. Uh, maybe I do that. Maybe I close the door. Maybe I close this one. Make you walk through there. See the prompt. Then that unlocks and that unlocks too. <laughs> well, again, more rooms. Some of, again, some of the rooms that were closed in the original, I just decided to open them up for the for the exploration and monster spawning. Because otherwise it's used to linear. Also, I have been trying to put the guard rate so it looks more populated, otherwise it looks too bare bones. And of course we, need to, we want to change that. The rest from here is a little more open than the original, but you know. Also, you know, there's this giant band I showed you before, just the monsters can go up and down. However, um, maybe that works for like versus player but for AI infected it has not been working for me. Also I think I need to put a prompt to tell the players that they can break this. Otherwise they just might say oh well I guess it's locked. Moving on. But yeah ladders are so well I have yet to figure them out properly because they just have an enter point and a who do I say the getting down point? Like, there's no like, oh, in-between sections. 
it's just they get they get on from this point, they get down on this point. That's it. No in between. <laughs> and still they will <laughs> they will still fall off. Well, again, I said this usually is closed in a friend of monster, like they use this window and window and that's it. But I said, well, if it's a cafeteria, I guess it will make sense too. Someone's always calling me and I don't know who it is. Maybe just call them back just to, to see who it is. It's local, so I'm guessing I don't know who it is. Anyways, so, well, this is open. It'll... Oh, weapons. This is climbable for the infected. There's also a climbable ladder here. That leads here and one down there just for whatever in case they need it. Anyway, so there's this cafeteria. In the original, it looks so, I don't know, old fashioned, dainty. I don't know what to look like. It looks weird. So I decided to put this. My original, my original plan was to include a piano, but I think I will need to reconsider that. Again, this area is open rather than just closed. <laughs> that opens the door over there. Alright, and it shows the button. I have been working so hard to figure out everything in Hammer, and I'm going to say this. I guess the best way to describe it is the logic works like they do in PowerPoint. I know that makes zero sense, and probably that's the worst way to put it. But it's just a matter of, oh, you need to know that certain things exist, certain commands exist, and just use them. Everything else, how you build it, is based on logic. Why do I say that? Because in PowerPoint it's just pretty much natural, it's just, oh, this does that, and if you use this to do that, for example, you want two animations to play with one after the other, you just put first one plays alone on its own, then the second one plays after the other one, things like that. It's not like learning HTML, like even if you know what each thing does, learning how to string them is an entirely different thing. Anyways, I made this conference room. I tried to make like little like context story like in the internet. I'm, I'm not sure how good it is, but we'll see. I'm not going to tell you how it is, otherwise it will, you know, break, <laughs> break the entire point. Anyway, so the glow logics. I had a lot of problems just getting that to work. Just for the solution to be like, oh, you just need to set them like start glow, and that's it on the map logic. The metal door in the green floor has been unlocked. All right. <clears throat> There's a lot I want to talk about, and I don't know. Well, so the logic is that, so I tried to take advantage of that because in the original Freedom Monster, it can get really, really confusing on where to go. Sometimes you just see where it is and you forget where it is because the game takes control of your camera and all that. I was thinking of doing that, but I think the glow just managed that just in good enough. Anyway, so we go through here, we get down here. In the original, there's a ladder and there's a hole that you drop down and die. But in Dark Assistance, the 2020 not released, there's like solid floor, so I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, we go to the dark floor. In the original, uh, MP5. And it doesn't look like trash because I'm using a mod. Anyways, in the original, like it's like a, a sort of asylum sort of thing, so I decided to make it something different here for the sake of, you know, Left 4 Dead. Well, I wonder what this is. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is because I think it's rather obvious, and if it's not obvious, then, well, whatever. There's these bathrooms, like the original. This wall is breakable. And there's like a room behind it. However, I have never seen the infected use it. In theory, everything is set up for them to use it, but you know. Little rooms with everything. They are all the same, I think. I think the light looks good enough, moody enough, and clear enough. It used to be a little more dark, but I think this just this is just fine. Just so you can see stuff. I think this is still a little dark, right? I mean, you can see the silhouette of the characters, but... I mean, when things get hectic... Invisibility, like, requires 
Uh, what do I say this? <laughs> Visibility takes a dive. Anyways. Same similar room, you know, dainty looking. Ooh, moody. Alright. 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 Okay. There's an invisible light here, but... I was trying to make it look not so obvious, but then this looks too dark and I guess it's, it will be just confusing for the players anyway, so red button. Mm -mm. Alright, we push it. The red elevator door has been unlocked. Alright. I, there were no prompts before, like text prompts, but I'm like, I guess there needs to be just to make sure whoever's playing knows where to go. I have also been making custom textures for this, but most of them are just Easter egg ish or areas that the player don't usually see for. Oh god, what are you doing? I guess that they can use the ladder. Oh well. Usually, if the AI has trouble getting through an area but they know they can, they will just teleport. Or, I don't know what you're doing. Well, hold on. Just to make things more consistent. Is everyone here? Okay. Well, you open this. You go through here. Sometimes bots either hang on the ledge here because there's like a drop here or just drop straight into it that break their legs. Alright. Seems this time they didn't. Again, if they know they, they are able to get down here but they are having trolls they will just teleport which is convenient. Again, we broke the planks by shooting through it, but I decided just to make an invisible trigger that just unlock it and set it breakable, rather than make the planks set it breakable. Does that make sense? Okay, there's an invisible trigger that set the door unlocked and breakable. It used to be that if you break the plank, it says the door to get open and set breakable, but since you can shoot through it, uh, you can just get cheap with it. I mean, of course, if you're playing this for the first time, you may not know that, but let's say if you play this multiple times and you don't know this map, you might just use it to cheat and, well, it might be unfair for those who don't know how to do that. Blue button, the blue door in the green floor has been unlocked. Alright. Alright. I guess I should put a prompt that tells the player to get a melee weapon to open those things more easily. But anyways, that's still glowing. Anyways, so here it is. It used to be like, I don't know, some sort of power room or something. Uh, but I thought I would just make it like a security room. I don't know if that makes more sense, but whatever. This makes it slightly more different. So we open this. Now for the monster this breaks, but I wonder why it's going to happen now. Oh yeah yeah. Alright, well since we're in this you hit you like quickly. I think I will make it just to spawn a random special infected, like in uh, Dead Talk, I think it was campaign in the church. But anyways, so that opens, and it did tell us about it. As you can see, both the door and the exit sign are glowing, but I just noticed that sometimes the special infected break the door, so I'm like, well, I put that just in case. Anyways, this is where the second map starts in Afraid of Monsters. I was thinking of just making this a a safe room and just get it on, but I don't know, maybe maybe it's not that short. I'm going to set, set time and see how it takes, how much it takes, but I don't know. I have been playing some maps, as you know, from the workshop. And some of them take forever and people don't seem to mind, so I think at least for that I will set it like so. I will leave it like that. 
anyways, in the original, as you remember, this will break, zombies will flood in, but just keep it simple here. I used to have two predetermined panic events, like one sponsor witch, one sponsor tank, but I just decided to just let the director take the lead. Anyways, here's the elevator. In the original, you break the door and you go into the elevator. I think we could work with that, like you get in, break the floor and open say, a latch into this area. I say that because in the original you just break it and just drop into the weird shaft for the elevator. But I was watching Payday, uh, the No Mercy mission, and they open like a latch under the uh, elevator. And it's like, ah, oh, that could work. Well, well, we figure that out. Oh god. No way. Like, you could open this, then open the ladder over here, like in painting. That'll make that will be really nice. But it will require more work. And that's not an issue, but you know, I will need to figure it out. Anyways. Ah, oh, maybe you could use both methods. Well anyways. As you remember, this is, used to be like a vent in the original, but I used to make it like a service sort of place. <laughs> Get out of my line of sight! Anyways, it used to be a vent, but it might use crawling all this way in the for that. Nah, man, you need to keep moving. But still, there's a fan room. I don't think it looks as spooky as in the original, but if I can make more for it, I'll do it. But meanwhile, this is what we have, and it's more safe for the bots. Also, I don't believe you hang on the ledge. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, I don't believe last time. Yeah. I guess it's just the way that it is. Well, I'll check the nap later. Anyways, I <laughs> guess we're one person down. Uh, this used to be like a long way down all the way to the bottom, but... Oh, hold on. I mean, I went to do my thing, and just now I remember that when you're using, using cheats and whatnot, it doesn't pause. <laughs> Anyways, it used to be like a long shaft, like all the way down with a ladder, but... The fuck? What? It doesn't work? That's weird. Well... Anyways, but you know, what will just drop down and die. Most of the time, at least. Alright, well, so you will drop into this place. I decided to use, you know, make it a storage room kind of place. Well, hell kit, that's crazy. Anyway, so, well, there's the, the shotgun, but I decided to make it the other shotgun. Only one. Alright, couple of things I need to fix there. Anyways, now we reach into the cafeteria place. I'm deciding. I'm still deciding into the lighting. I think like this greenish themed kind of makes sense, but the original is kind of bright in this area anyway. So maybe I just take it back. Well, here's a cafeteria now. They said to just make it like you know this giant place and whatnot. 
there's still like this stuff over here as I to put it. Oh, our sniper. Well, not really it's the scout. Anyways, so yeah, but I think I need to open this area. Either open a door or something here, double door, I don't know. I mean, it just leads here. Well, maybe not a double door, but something. Oh, maybe I put it because right here is the elevator. <laughs> maybe just put a double door here and kind of connect it. I don't know. Well, I'll see what I can do. Something that makes sense at least. Anyways, put a window or something because it, it looks too just corridors, right? Well, now we reach this area. There was no door here, but just put one. It's a fake door though. I'm glad that the director knows where to put things most of the time. I put this van here, but the infected really don't know how to use it. Let's see if I can show you. Oh god. The hunter can still get you, you <laughs> no clipping around. Alright. Anyway, so here's the original plan, like usually infected spawn here. I place this service stuff so they can just drop here. Oh, so I guess no wait. The nav is set up. I don't know. Well but they don't walk down here and you know attack the player. I don't know why. Ah, but neither are the bots, so maybe something is broken, right? Yeah, the bots are like all confused, so so I guess I just need to check the nav again. Well, that's the plan. Just more places to move about. I should have waited a little, anyways. Again, in the original, you come out on the other end, I think. But I decided to, you know, keep it simple and straightforward. Alright. No, what is that? Why? Well, probably because I have it on medium, but, well, you know. Oh, I guess it's that, right? If I change it, it's going to crash. Alright. Uh, I don't think it matters. I just put it like in medium just for sake of recording, but I think I equal handle just high settings. Hold on. No, it didn't crash. All right. Okay, yeah, you can see it from here. Usually, when you render the map and you play the for that afterwards, everything goes to high settings. I think. Well, still, you see a small thing; it shouldn't just disappear. Anyway, same as last time. It used to be a long shaft, but oh god, damn it! Do they know how to come down though? In theory they should, but I have been <laughs> wrong before. Anyways, well in a long way, I think it's more detail. Then we reach this locker room. I said to make it a little bigger. Then we jump on the vent again. Again, instead of a vent, just a service place. Maybe I make more doors or something. I don't know. Fan room again. Another service vent. The elevator goes down. You probably didn't hear it, but it makes a noticeable loud crashing noise. It spawns a wave. But they usually spawn in a weird place. I don't always have a hard time reaching the player. Reloading. 
Oh god, I'm running out of ammo. I don't know if I want to put like ammo piles around. I mean, in theory I should. But in the original of Freedom Monsters, there's like a scarcity of ammo piles. Well, of ammo more likely. It's more easy to find new weapons than ammo for the one that you have. I don't think he can come through though. <laughs> He's dick asshole. <laughs> I presume the tank is taller than most common infected. That's why he can come through. Alright. But in theory, no. I don't know. Because I was looking for player units in, in size. And apparently everyone just uses the same. But I don't know. I think the common infected can crawl through tighter spaces. But I don't know. I think I'm going to put something over there like crates or something because, you know, the AI sometimes just drop down. And gets hurt in the process. Yep. Are there places in the original Left 4 Dead that, you know, the AI can get hurt <laughs> by climbing up somewhere? <laughs> yeah, you just giving me everything. First aid here. All right, I need to pick it up. This used to be so dark, like it was just this spotlight and a little around it, and the ceiling was completely dark. And I like the idea that it was dark because you know it avoids me from putting more detail. But I don't know, it was just hard for visibility. So I decided against it. Or I'm still looking for I'll see what I don't know. Alright. God damn it. I think I need to put more cars or something, just you know. And we have like the car crash like in the original. <coughs> Blue van and all, just no police sign. Anyways, I still have to need to put out the prompts. Did they really break it? God damn it. <laughs> well, because you're supposed to be like, oh, the fire exit will, will trigger the alarm, so be prepared and whatnot. Anyways, we do have an ammo pile here because I, will, I want you to prepare for the stupid gauntlet that I have yet to set up because... I'm dumb. Anyways. <laughs> I want to show you one easter egg only because it doesn't work yet. You like that and something appears in this room. However, I don't know how, how to make it appear, but I don't know. That disappears and something else appears there. But you'll have to wait and see until I figure it out. Anyways, we click this. The alarm sounds, but it sounds all the way over there, so it's, you kind of think of what's happening. Oh, but I mean, <laughs> I need to set up the door to be unbreakable because, you know, it was open. So why trigger the alarm and all? It's, this is supposed to be a gauntlet, but it's just going to cause a mild panic event. However, I want to be careful with the gauntlet because most of the maps that we have played here, they make gauntlets and it's just annoying. 
Maybe I'll put more pipe bombs and stuff around the parking place to incentivize to look for resources before, you know, going through the horde. Well, in the original, I think the Exidon was not used to be there and over there, but it doesn't make sense with this layer, so I decided to put it just here. I have yet to build more of the street and whatnot, but well, whatever. Reloading. And you will just run, 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 run. There will be more cars or something, and I'll see about that. <laughs> That thing is still playing. <coughs> In the original, there used to be just like a small hallway. Well, a back alley, whatever you call it. But I had a bunch of empty space and I'm like, well, let's make something out of it. There's that over there, a little detail over there. Like, something over there. Just run, and then just like in the original. Oh, a safe house up ahead. That's that's when it just that's when it ends and just going through the next area. However, uh, I don't have this stupid console. Damn it! Whatever. Let's just go in. Yeah, because Ellis died, bro. <laughs> well, more like I cannot kill him. Uh, this area doesn't have anything. So, anyways, uh, I was going to exit the game, but I think the console menu is actually here. Yeah. Uh, let's this one map hospital. I went to load it again, but I'm going to set a couple of commands for better showcase. Nice, full right, hold on. Matt, full right, one. no, it's zero. Some of the items are going, to, well, the props are going to look full right though, but uh, whatever. Uh, director stop, and MV delete all. Oh, this deletes all of the survivors and everything else, so we're just alone. Uh, uh, I better set a god mode, god one, all right. So I don't break my legs and no one is here is here to rescue me. God damn it, I'm just going to actually <laughs> reload because I think I want to take the picture of that. And everything full right is going to be like uh, what? In theory the director should still be st stopped, but you know. Wait. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it's looking more moody, alright? The sunlight, which is the moonlight, it used to be so dark, like, you could barely see. <laughs> like, you would need a flashlight even outside, but I'm like, uh, that's not good. So I just decided to brighten it up a lot. It'll, I think it looks a little too bright, but I might change that later, but, you know. For now, it works. And I want the players to be able to see. Anyway, so yeah, the, again, the entire roof used to be open, but I'm like, if I put fences all on the roof, it's going to look so weird. So I might as well try to get clever with the architecture. So instead of having like just this area closed, like in the original, I decided to raise it up, put up skylight, and use that to block the players. And then I said that it would be a good idea just to, you know, make a monster spawn and get in inside, whatever. So what else? There's a bunch of teleporters for the monsters because otherwise they would just start banging on the door and it gets so annoying. So there's there's teleporters on most doors that are meant to be unlocked. Well, yeah, that are meant to be unlocked. For example, like on this one, there's a teleporter at the end. I use a nav, a navigation block, like to tell the 
VAI to not walk on this area unless it's unlocked, but they never listen. <laughs> I don't know if it's like too small or it needs to be bigger or I'm doing something wrong. But they just never listen, man. So I just put the teleporter. Only for the uh, monsters. And they just get teleported here in this dark area. So they just can go upstairs and mess about. This area completely black. It's just for monster spawning. And they use this to get up and whatnot. It's solid for the human players, but for infected, they can just walk through. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. I need to work on the music cues and whatnot because otherwise it's just, well, silence most of the time. Mm, maybe put a piano here somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Because in the original, there was one. Uh, 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 what else? Oh, yeah, I know. Just a matter, just a minute. So in the original, you get like the machine gun here, whatever. If you finish all the endings. However, like, I don't think that can work in there for that, so I decided to use, use something else. Well, I have done doing the easter egg, and now we get this. Oh, God damn it. You get the M60, and uh, this one is just a Halo Reach model, I think. But you get the M60 here. I mean, of course, it's not like you can finish <laughs> the campaign four times and just come back for an infinite machine gun. So, what is this trick? I am not going to tell you. Because one, I'm not sure if it's going to be the final one. And if it is, I don't want to spoil the surprise. You just have to break a couple of things, that's all I'm saying. It will be kind of obvious because they seem kind of out of place. But I don't know if I want them to be like they are right now. Or not. Why not? Because, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Well, I guess this is it. I, I feel like I want to show something more, but I really don't know what I want to show. Other than, well, you know, the surrounding area. What I want to do, or I want to see if I can do, it's either make like... That part would be the ocean and, you know, a waterfront and more city over there, or just make a complete city. I don't know, I'll have to wait. I guess those are the things that you have to do at the end. Anyways, is it really pretty cool? It is. I mean, sure, you cannot open it, but if you can do this, then it means that it's breakable. I guess you just need a couple of zombies to hit it a little. Anyways, I made this one taller just for the tank in case, but there's floor, the other floor, this is where the infected. Hmm, well, I'll see. This is going to not wait for too long. Oh, uh, well, that's the process I want to show, and I wanted to record it because. If I continue and it looks completely different, I'm going to wish that I had set it up before. Mm -hmm. Usually, if you cannot see it, I don't bother making it, but since the special infected can just run about, I think I want to make it visible enough. Anyways, I guess that's that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I guess I'll see you when I see you, everyone. Take care. And remember, keep taking the precautions. I mean, shit. Anyways, see you.